Welcome to Studio D on the campus of the University of Oklahoma. This is Sooner Sports Pad. Now here's your host, Courtney Boggs. Too, but that's as loud as I've heard this studio ever. Oh yeah, me We too. also have a very special guest in studio, linebacker Oboe. I hear your friends call you OBZ. Can I call you OBZ? You can call me OBZ. Yeah, all right. OBZ. OBZ in studio with us, and we'll talk to him later on in the show. chronic absenteeism, which is defined as missing more than 10% of the school year. And Abby Green joins us now in the News Center with the latest on that deadly Chattanooga bus crash. Abby. A school bus filled with children rammed into a tree, flipped and split apart yesterday in Chattanooga, Tennessee. At least five children were killed in the crash and according to school officials, six others are hospitalized in intensive care. Police say bus driver Jonathan e. Walker was driving well over the posted speed limit. He faces reckless driving and endangerment charges. The 24-year-old will make his first court appearance next Tuesday. We'll be under investigation for a long, long time for her many crimes against our nation, our people, our democracy, likely concluding in a criminal trial. Today, President-elect Trump says he will likely not pursue a new criminal case against his political rival. While not completely, completely abandoning the idea of an investigation, the President-elect says he wants to move on with his agenda and does not want to hurt the Clintons. And Vladimir Putin sparks security fears after Russia moves missiles closer to Western Europe. The move is now widely seen as Putin's retaliation as a military buildup by the NATO alliance in Eastern Europe. And Donald Trump also disavowed all alt-right supporters today. Now back to you in the studio. As you just saw, the Dow just closed above 19,000 points for the first time ever. Welcome back to the OU Nightly Business Report. I'm Storm Jones. The three major U.S. stock indices all broke records today. The Dow Jones Industrial, S&P 500, and NASDAQ closed at record highs. Economists say this is still part of the election rally. And while the market is doing well, so are home sales. Last month, existing homes sold at the fastest rate in nine and a half years. 5.6 million existing homes were purchased, a monthly rate the U.S. hasn't seen since February 2007. Economists say the bump is thanks to an improving labor market paired with still low mortgage rates. This and other positive economic indicators mean the federal interest rate will almost certainly increase next month. And a couple of Venezuelan immigrants have found a home in Norman. As Nightly's Lindsay Gomez shows us, they're making the most of it. Lindsay Gomez, OU Nightly. All right, I can't wait to get down there and try that red snapper. Sounds good. I yeah. know, Storm, it looks pretty good. It made me a little bit hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Storm. Well, still ahead on OU Nightly, Blakely Durham will recap last night's football game in Mexico City. And Kylie Caps is here with another look at today's weather. It's quiet outside right now, but there is impending severe weather. I'll have that and more coming up next. it over to the man of the hour. Give it up for Mr. Joe Castiglione. First of all, let's say something right up front. The fact that we can debate how many years are special is a very special thing in itself. True. And so, um, question, last thanks. question. You finally get a day off. What do you do for fun? A, play I video mean, I games? I don't, I don't even need no choices. Oh, you don't, oh, oh. Sleep. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Sooner Sports Pad. We will see you same time.